Hello, all you starfighters out there. Commander Kingfish here, and I am back in Starfield doing side missions. And I know I got at least one side mission here on Mars, and I think there's another one we can pick up. So I'm going to try to get two side missions done today. And the first one, we've got to go speak with Trevor down here at the uh, local watering hole and which is just right outside of or is this the one i'm thinking of oh no this is this is the first one this is trevor there is also a mission over here uh, let's see let me get to where i need to go uh let's go down down one and oh we are oh well that's Trevor oh okay here's the other one I needed to talk to I think this dude right here Cambridge Cooper Old God, still. Not a lot of folks would have stuck their necks out for a stranger like that. Yeah. All right. Ah, oh, dang. There was another mission down here. I might have missed out on it. Oh, well. Well, let's go talk to Trevor. We can get his mission done. Trevor. You know, I believe we've got the best mining team ever assembled here. Okay. Welcome, welcome. Nice to meet you. Name's Trevor, mining director for the Deimos Mining Project here in scenic underground Sidonia. I could spare a minute or two to chat, so long as you're not looking for mining work, I suppose. Uh, I was uh, doing some mining work for Argos. I was hoping you'd have work, but doesn't sound like it. Argos, huh? Yeah, I've heard of them. That's great, but yeah. Unfortunately, all our mining contracts are filled right now. Unless, maybe you could help me out with a job. Off the books. Sure. Sure. Depends on what it is, but let's hear what you've got. Great! I promise it's nothing that'll get anyone in any kind of trouble. See, you might have noticed that our equipment ain't exactly holding together like it used to. Problem is, we can't get new equipment unless we start exceeding our quotas. And we can't do that until we get new equipment. A real dilemma, right? I've got a plan for solving our little problem, though. Sure. Tell me the... Well, you know, I don't understand where I come into play. I'm getting there. Okay. First, I need someone from the outside to bolster our yields so we can prove that we can exceed our quota. Okay. I'll fill you in on the rest of the details after you've hauled up some ore. One standard quota should do. I need to know I can trust you with the easy stuff first. All right, sounds easy. I'll do it. When you've got enough, drop it off in the bin over there for processing. Then come see me. Okay. All right, the war relic, or the war relics mission updated. I don't want the war relics. I want the red tape blues. I want this one right here. All right, so we got to gather 10 iron. All right, let's get busy on that, uh, which means we need to uh, equip our trusty cutter right here. Okay. And we need to come over here. Look out there, Mr. Roboto. Where did, where did they go? Where's my, uh, I thought I put that in. Okay. All right. It's there. All right. So let's, uh, okay. Where do we got some iron? I think I got to find it, I guess. Come on. We've got to find some iron. Okay. Well, let's. Let's scan for it then. There we go. There's one. I'll 
Come on. Oh, here we go. There's a bunch of iron right here. All right. There's that one. Okay. And that one. There's two. Three. And four. And five. And six. All right, let's get this one. All right, there's seven. All right, let's go ahead and do this one. And this one. That's eight and or nine, I guess. And there's 10. All right. Now, what are we going to do? Let's uh, put this away and we've got to go take and dump it somewhere. All right. In days like these, these are not Let's go Who dump it over Sidonia here. Is a safe Sidonia. While indulging in alcoholic beverages is not dispersed. All right, let's E. There we go. The Holy crap. That fills up a whole bin. All right, we got to go see Trevor. Let's put this away. All right, Trevor. Okay. I can see you're serious about helping me. That all you mind is really going to bolster our numbers. I uh, dropped off the ore. Right. Rested. Now, the next part is a little trickier. Uh -huh. Our director of mining operations, Peter Brennan, fired his last assistant over a month ago. Peter's the only one who can approve the order for new equipment. And unfortunately, he's useless without an assistant. Well, wow. I think I've got a surefire way for you to get that job. Then you, as his assistant, can get him to sign off on the approval. You, you want me to become his assistant? We just need you to take the job until we get the approval signed. Then you can quit, keep it, or do whatever. It's not as bad as it sounds. Worst case scenario, you may have to go fetch some stuff for him and go over his messages. It'll be easy, I promise. Sure, sure, I'll take the job. Now hold on, it's not that easy. Well, You'll need to apply for it like anyone else. Head to the Deimos Star Yard's office up in orbit to fill out the application. Oh, great. It's where that job is posted. Come back and see me when you've done that, and we'll talk about how to secure the position for you. Okay, well, all right. It's up to the demo star yard. Tell you what, once I once I get up to the star yard, uh, we can uh, we'll see how that goes. Okay, we're here on Deimos. Uh, let's see what we got to do here. Oh, great. Okay, what do we got here? Let's, uh, demo sales computer. Great. All right. Delivery opportunities. Huh. Do, oh, speak with Sandra Fullerton. All right. Well, there's our second mission. Uh, all right. Let's go back one. Job posting. Executive assistant. Apply for the job. Uh, how many years of experience do you have an executive, administrative, or corporate assistant? Yeah, well, uh, in real life, <laughs> I got over 10 years. Uh, let's do bachelor's degree. Uh, you will now be asked a series of questions to help us assess your competence for this role. Please answer honestly. Uh, the executive wants you to bring them a whiskey... Neat. What does that mean? Uh, trick question. Executives aren't allowed to drink on the job. A VIP arrives at your office for a meeting with the executive who is inexplicably running late. What should you do? Uh, I would suspect entertain the client with jokes until the executive arrives or... Uh, and yeah, let's do that. 
a malfunction prevents the executive starship from starting up and they need to go to an important off-world meeting soon. What course of action do you take? Uh, offer them use of your old banged up ship. Contact a client and cancel a meeting. Use the company credits to immediately charter an expensive luxury craft. Get their ship towed to the shop. It's okay if they are late. Uh, holy bullies. Uh, let's, uh, uh, let's, uh, man, uh, let's do that. While handling the ex email, you come across a message from someone claiming to have damaging information about the executive. What should you do? Take the info to the board of directors so they can handle it. Uh, ignore the email completely, then block the sender, confront the exec, and blackmail him in hopes of getting a big raise. Ask the executive how they want to handle, then never speak of it again. Let's do that one. Uh, the executive contacts you and asks you to see them in their office in the middle of the night. You can tell they are drunk. What do you do? Uh, yeah, take care of them until they sober up. Uh, yeah. And let's submit the application. Okay, let's return back to the main menu. Uh, oh, let's see. What else? There was something. Oh, delivery resource listing. Oh, okay. All right. While we are here, to Demos. let's talk to... Uh, we'll go ahead and start the second one. Let's see. I need to speak with Tazora. No. Uh, who was it I needed to speak with? I thought there was somebody here. Oh, Dry Dock Blues. Uh, speak with Sandra Fullerton. Okay. Let's go find Sandra. Uh, where is she at? Oh, she's right here. Hey, Sandra. Ah, it's nice to see someone not in uniform. They can be so touchy, you know. <laughs> Huh. Always eager to point out the slightest problem. Oh, please tell me you aren't secretly some high-ranking general, are you? Uh, I'm the Grand General Leismio of the Settled Systems. No, I'm a civilian. What a relief. I assume you're here for a ship. Either that, or you are really, really lost. Mr. Henderson handles sales, but if you want to know anything about our ships, I'm your gal. I uh, don't take this wrong, but you're a lot more energetic than the others around here. Oh, yeah? <laughs> well, I take that as a compliment. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna lie. It can be pretty hard working with these no-nonsense military types. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, I probably shouldn't say things like that. At least not so loudly. Yeah. I've already been written up twice this week. <laughs> I can only take so many lectures. <sighs> Man, I could really use a drink. Uh, a glass of water would be a healthier option. I imagine that Demos doesn't have the best booze. Well, we don't have much of it at all. We have to keep up appearances. What I could really use is Jake's Stout, from Jake's Bar in New Atlantis, ah. of course. Or The Well, to be more specific. Oh, I used to love that place when I lived there. I mean, Jake isn't friendly, but he could make a pretty good drink. Say, you're the traveling type, right? Would you mind grabbing me one of Jake's Stouts? You know, I'll go get one for you. It's no trouble. Awesome. Thank you so much. I eagerly await your return. Okay. All right. Oh, yeah. Bye. Okay. All right. So while we're back on New Atlantis, uh... then we can pick up uh, a bottle of Jake's Stout. So let's go ahead and put our other mission back in for the time being uh let's uh do this one let's see speak uh oh no that's a taste of home no we want this one right here uh speak with trevor okay so i've applied and so when i'm back down uh to uh 
Uh, hello. Hey, Vasco. Satisfied okay. To see that you survived your most oh, recent yeah, yeah, cycle. yeah, yeah. Okay. I will catch back up with you when I'm back down in Sidonia talking with Trevor. Okay, we're just a back we're just about down here to see Trevor again. So let's let's see what the hell's going to happen. All right. Don't worry. We're going to make sure you get that job. Trust me. This is the best shot we've got at getting that request approved. Okay, I filled out the executive assistant application. Okay, now we need to ensure you get hired. Oh. Basically, we'll need to make sure you're the only choice. To do that, you'll need to get access to the HR terminal in the corporate office upstairs on the main level. If you delete the other applications from the system, you'll be a shoe in Hey. You know, I'm not comfortable with this, but I'll do it if it helps the miners. I know it might feel shady, but think of it more like uncorking an unnecessary bottleneck. It's going to help us all. By the way, the HR password is password spelled backwards, which Tia thinks is pretty clever. She gets talkative during happy hour and loud. I'm surprised everyone doesn't know her password, honestly. Anyway, should be pretty easy. Good luck. Okay, well, let's go delete the other candidates. We probably have to wait till she's out of there. Uh, let's see. Let's, uh, where in the hell am I going? Uh, oh, it's... Oh, you know, I'm lost as usual. I think it's back over this way. Can't believe we're still pulling up huge mineral deposits after all this time. Come on, where's my stairs? Yeah, bass backwards. Over this away. Yep, that's not. Let's not walk in front of the miner. Why do I feel like I'm lost around here? Is that the way I gotta go. Well, for crying out loud. All right. Well, we need to go this way. Down here, people tend not to poke their nose. Yeah, there's my ladder. I should have known. All right, we can put this away. All right. Don't worry. We're going to make sure you get that job. All right, you got it, Trevor. All right, up we go. Let's see. And up again. Up again. And let's see. We. All right, just a minute. There nobody here? Oh, there is people here. All right. We, we've got to wait till five o'clock at least. Uh, we got to find a place to sit down. And we should be able to find a place to sit somewhere. Uh, for crying out loud. Come on, there's got to be a place to sit down here. Someplace. Everybody stand on their feet, crying out loud. Are you kidding me? Come on. Keep a lookout. Notify us if you see anything suspicious. Yeah, you got it. Reliant Medical. Hell, by the time I find a place to sit, it probably is going to be quitting time. All right. Come on. Let's go. Who are you? Citizen. I wonder if I can just sit in this chair right here. Sit right here. All right. You know, don't buy me, people. All right, wait. All right, what time is it? It's 15.09 local time. Uh, 
All right, let's uh, let's wait three hours. Should see them get up and leave, I think. Okay, ladies, drinks. Don't ah. have to ask me twice. Yes, <laughs> yeah. Let's go and try to beat the rush. Perfect timing. All right, perfect. They're just now leaving. How about that? Okay. All right. Let's uh, get out of here, and. We can go, uh, let's go, let's go borrow the computer, uh, unlock, his password is Drowsap. Okay, uh, job applications, all right, no other reps found. Delete. Uh, job applications. Delete. Okay. Uh, delete. And delete. Okay, we go back and speak with Trevor. Let's get out of here. Oh, I'm just trying to get out. Uh, there we go. Let's see what messages we got. Mining equipment company. Is that it again? All right. Well, okay. There we go. Let's go see Trevor. Back and forth. Back and forth. All right. And Matt, forever. All right, my good man. Me. This is the best the shot we've got at getting that request. Yeah, okay. Don't worry. I We're did it. Sure I made sure I was. Job. I did it. I made sure I was the only applicant. And I can say that I've got some good news for you. Oh boy. I just saw the company message go out that you've been hired as Peter's assistant. <laughs> uh, Congratulations. Great. All right. So what's the next step of your plan? Next step should be easy. Just go to work for Peter, and when you get access to his terminal messages, you'll see my request. All you've got to do is approve that request, and we'll be right on with it. Then we can get that new equipment and show corporate how it's done. Okay, all right. Oh, wow. All right, so we've got that. So now what? Uh, red tape runaround. Report to work for Peter Brent. Don't want to catch yourself with a loose grip on your equipment when one of those particle detonations goes off. Yeah, okay. Oh, I hope Peter's not too much trouble. He can be a bit much. Oh, well, fine. We'll deal with Peter. All right. Let's see. Back up to see Peter. All right, where in the hell is he at? All right, up and up we go. Well, I've been here before. Peter, Peter, my good man. Do you work for me? It's hard to keep track these days. Oh, you, you're finally back. I feel like you've been gone for ages. Do you know how tough this job is without an assistant? I think you're mistaking me for your previous assistant. Hmm, what happened to the old one? You know what, never mind. When <laughs> they told me how poorly you did on your application questions, I had my doubts. <laughs> but at least you showed up on time, so maybe there's hope. Of course there's hope. Well enough, chit chat. Let's get to work. Sure, just point me at your computer and I'll get to your messages. Not quite. Oh. I need you to do something much more important you before you get to that. I'm expecting a personal shipment. 
I'm not sure why, but the last time this happened, my assistant ended up speaking to Governor Hurst about it. Now, run off and get it for me. Okay. Uh, what, uh, you know, uh, no, that's, I guess that pro that doesn't matter. Oh, you're done? No, no, I, jeez, I just got the assignment. Uh, all right. Where is, oh, I think we can get around this way. Oh, look out, look out, citizen. Oh, okay, let's see, where's this dude in here? Oh, this dude. The Sidonian people are great. They're hard workers and true UC patriots. Of course, all right. Ah, hello, welcome. I don't usually have time to speak with random people off the street, but I'd be happy to help if it's something quick. What can I do for you? Uh, actually, there's something important I need from you. Something important, huh? Well, lay it out for me. Uh, I'm here on behalf of uh, Peter Brennan. Well, then, you've been quite busy making a name for yourself, haven't you? Sorry, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> oh, it's okay. You can drop the act with me. So look, I admire a go-getter like yourself. You're not in trouble unless you make trouble. And I don't think you're the type. Well... I know you're not really Mr. Brennan's assistant. I don't know exactly what you're up to. But I have little reason to suspect you're up to no good. What? So let's cut to brass tacks. What can I do for you? I'm looking for Mr. Brennan's personal ship. He said you might know what happened to it. Oh, I know exactly what happened to that shipment. However, I suspect Mr. Brennan neglected to tell you that I'm holding it due to his immense backlog of unpaid taxes. Oh, God. Then again, he may be unaware. Look, I'll tell you what. I'll release that shipment for you. But I'm going to need a favor first since you seem to be adept at keeping quiet. See, my personal spacecraft oh was stolen, likely by Crimson Fleet pirates. I need someone to find it. Then I need that someone to destroy it, discreetly. I need tight lips on this. Ah. <sighs> well, you know, your craft was stolen by pirates. Why not ask Sis? Eh, you know what? That's just... Then we have an agreement. Yep. I'll send you to the ship's last known location. Remember, not a word of this leaves this room. That's correct. Okay. Well, shoot. All right. So let's go. We got to go find that stolen ship. Something doesn't smell right here, but uh, yeah. So let's go see what we can do. And once I get to the ship, I will uh, catch back with you all. With up you. Oh, wow. I'll catch back up with you all. Hey, friend. I don't mean to bother you, but I could really use some help here. I'm worried. I'm running out of time here. So if you could hurry it up, I'd appreciate it. Uh... Oh, that's not what I want to do. Damn it. Ah, I hate that. Same button. Two different things. I got a hail am. All right, hold on here. Come on, don't. All right, hey on. It's good to see someone out here. I've been drifting alone here for two days without help. Sure. Okay. Uh, sorry. Let me board. I'm a Crimson Fleet pirate like you, and I'm here to help. Sorry, I've got strict orders to destroy you. Well, shit. We've got something you might find interesting. And if that doesn't do it, we've got creds. All you have to do is come aboard. Ah, uh, that, that was easy. Yes, yes. Come aboard. Just don't try anything stupid. I'm sure you know how that will go. Okay, so. Uh, are we close? To, oh, let's slow down. Let's dock. All right, 
Let's see what uh, is uh, so interesting on board this ship. Oh, we could have just blown it out of the sky and be done with it, but somehow, somehow I got a feeling. Oh, crap. No, dang it. It's not what I wanted to do. Ah, where'd my ship go? Come on. All right, come on. Uh, select. Let's dock again. Let's try this all over again. I need to get out of the chair and not undock. All right, let's try this again. Uh, let's uh, get up. All right. Because I want to just be prepared. I don't trust this if it was supposedly taken by crimson pirates we probably want to have a little better weapon in hand and I think I want that urban eagle uh, all right all right let's go see what this character's all about Uh-huh. Okay, that's far enough. Now you know I'm not as alone and helpless as you thought. So think about how you want to handle this. Oh, pirate leader. You have two huh? choices. When the ship parts to repair our busted craft drive, hand them over along with your ship, and maybe we'll let you live. Oh. Or we dust you and take it anyway. You've got to the count of 20 before I make that choice for you. Oh. Well. Their choice is I kill you and carry out the remainder of my mission. Death it is! You vigilante! I didn't kill you! Jesus. Rigging. Oh, oh. You're gonna pay for that! Alright. I need... I need... All right, he's dead. There was somebody that went down. All right, where are you at? All right, I think there's, there's oh, there's freaking more on here. Christ, we got a bunch of them. Uh, they look to be all downstairs. And there might be one up above. Uh, you know what? We better take some aid here. Let's do that before we get too carried away. I guess it's been a bit since I've been in uh, battle. Uh, let's take a heart. And I think we need to take... Uh, uh, persuasion, no. Carry capacity, no. Uh, thought there was some better ones. All right, well, that's that's good. Let's just uh, take a couple of these med packs, and that should get us healed up. Now, let's jump down here. here, over here. Ah, uh, All right, he's out of the way. Uh, there's another one right here. Ah. Oh. Bullet sponge, are ya? Opening fire! All right. Oh, that ladder's going to... Oh, come on. Bad time to have to reload. Oh, boy. He's a bullet sponge, that's for sure. All right, he's out of the way. Oh, all right, behind me, eh? No payday's worth this. Let's go! Okay, come on. All right, he's out of the way. Hold. Oh, now what the hell? Taking fire. All right, what's l there's more? Holy crapola! All right. Uh, let's see. 
Who's this? Oh, this is it. Oh, let me take this. Okay. And let's uh, come up here. Uh, or the frontier. Let me see something here. What is... Oh, return to Hearst. Oh, return to Hearst. Optional. Hearst's ship. Well, let's uh, do a little... Uh, so I'm going to do some recon here. And then once I uh, get uh, things gathered up, uh, I'll catch back up with you all. Okay, I have just undocked from the uh, ship, and we have a choice. Uh, return to Hearst. Uh, optional, destroy Hearst ship. Uh, I'm going to search for clues. Of where there must be some reason he wanted it destroyed. I think I'm not going to destroy it. I'm just going to return to him, and... Let's see what uh, he has to say. All right, so let's go back. Uh, let's uh, jump to here. All right. All right, so once I get back to Sidonia, I'll catch back up with you all. Okay, all right. We are about to get back to see Hearst. So let's just see what this uh, dude has to say. Oh, I think it's next door. Wrong one, right here. Okay. Just because the governor's office is right there on the main level doesn't mean it's not secure. Yeah, yeah, okay. All right, Governor Hurst. I sure hope you've taken care of our little uh, problem. It's let's good to see. see you. I'm eager to conclude our business together. I'm back. Now let's talk about your end of the deal. Did you uh, take care of my little problem? Uh, I found your ship, but the pirates got away. Well, let's see. I found your note to the pirates. Seems like it'd be real bad for you if people knew. Hmm. I see how it is. Tell you what. Say you really do have this alleged note, and we're thinking of using it against me. If you're so inclined, I'll take it off your hands instead, and compensate you far more than releasing Mr. Brennan's shipment of goods. Then you and I part ways and never speak of this again. Do we have an understanding? Uh... Deal. I'll take the note. Take the note, and I'll stay quiet. You know... You're supposed to destroy the ship, not board it. And even though I don't take kindly to blackmail, you're making the right move by agreeing to keep this matter under wraps. The way I figure, no one will believe you without proof anyway now. So this exchange, will see to it the real story stays between us. Now take Brennan's package and your compensation and get out of my damn sight. Ah, uh, sorry. Ah, 12,000 credits. Message from Hearst removed. And we're all good. So, we've got, uh, let's see. So we can go back to Brennan now. Boy, just to get this paperwork done. All right. Back to Brennan. Okay. I must be a fun job. Or else, why would we keep getting so many applicants? Ah. My shipment. Do you have it yet? Here you... Yes, yes. Here you go. Ah, yes. I'll take that. Now, um... I've probably got some important messages I need you to take care of for me while I, uh... Um, attend to some other I'm, important matters at hand. I'm sure. You'll need my password. Remember... If you reply to anything, try to mimic my style and speech patterns. You know, for consistency. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, approve the equipment request. Uh, what's 
Ah. Uh, what happened to your last assistant? I don't know. At first I thought I had multiple assistants that rotated in and out, but uh, it seems I've only ever had one at a time and they all just stopped showing up. Huh. I believe my last assistant was supposed to get me some coffee, but never came back. I honestly wasn't listening to whatever they were crying about. Yeah, okay. All right. That's fine. Oh, you're done? No, not yet. I need to uh, take care of some work in here. All right. Uh, Peter Brennan's password. Okay. Uh, requests. Let's see. Uh, replacement. Oh, well, let's see. PTO. Yeah, some of us stuff. Yeah, approved. Uh, return to requests. Drink selection. Uh, approve. Return to requests. Uh, messages. I've gotten word from the other execs that you haven't been re replying to your messages in time. I'm writing this request in hopes that you or your assistant, when we hire one, might see it here and get on that. All right. Approve. And return to request. Uh, mining equipment. All right. Let's approve. Okay. Credits added. Perfect. Uh, let's return. Uh, actually, let's... Uh, Go back. Let's see what the messages have to say. Uh, meeting request. Uh, I'm looking forward to meeting you. Uh-huh. Okay. Psych eval, Peter, your psychological turned up some interesting stuff. I think it would be good for you to speak with me sometime. Yeah, yeah, okay. All right. And shipment. I'm writing to you. Oh. Yeah, okay. All right. Well, let's let's get back down. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's go s see if we can get this wrapped up. I think we're getting close. All right. All right, Trevor. Where you at? Trevor. I hope I didn't make a mistake by letting Hank go. What? I wonder what's taking Hank so long. I'm back. I managed to approve your request. I saw. <laughs> Good work. See? I knew having someone on the inside like that would work out. I've already put it in order for the equipment. I was going to ask you to pick it up for me, but there's a problem. Oh. One of my guys, Hank Ferraro, offered to go. I tried to tell him he'd be more useful sticking to his job here, but he insisted, and he was already on his way out before I could stop him. But it shouldn't be taking this long. Just a quick trip to Gagarin and back. I'm concerned. I could use some help with this. Well, yeah, no problem. Oh, thanks. This is a huge help. You'll be happy to know I actually carved out some of the budget so I can pay you for all of your assistance. Oh, nice. We don't currently have much information to go on. I'd suggest checking with Sidonia ship services over at the starport first. They'd be the last person I know that's seen Hank. It's all I've got without sending you all the way to Gagarin to retrace his steps. Good luck. Oh, okay. Speak with ship services. We're still on red tape reclamation. All right. Let's go see ship services. Should be right up here, I think. And, uh, yeah, he's probably just, uh, probably the technician that's sitting outside. All right, back, back up this way. Oh, you know what I gotta do? The trade authority should be right here. I'll tell you what, once I get up to ship services and I stop in to see the trade authority here, uh, I'll catch back up with you all. 
All right, here's uh, ship services. Here's the technician over here. Let's let's see what he has to say. Anything I can help you with? Yeah. Hey, what can I do for you? Uh, I'm looking for information on Hank Ferraro. I was told he passed through here. Hmm. Let's see here. Hank. Hank. Know him by that name. Oh, wait. Here we go. Henry Ferraro. Hank's got to be his nickname. <laughs> Yeah, he's been through here. Took a ship and departed. Actually, it looks like he came back into Mars space recently. But he didn't land here at the spaceport. The ship diverted and landed outside the city of ways. Uh... Why would he avoid landing a port? I've been doing this job for years, and I can't think of many reasons someone would come in for landing, but divert somewhere else. I've seen people try to offload some sort of contraband that way. But usually, they don't do a flyby of the port before doing so. And scans would have picked it up, so... I don't know. You're gonna have to ask him yourself. If you manage to track him down, that is. Alright, thanks. I'm going back to Trevor. Get the bottom of this. Actually, let's, uh, do you have any other information? Did Hank say anything when he was departed? Nothing out of the ordinary. Got a ship and left. Tried and failed to get a discount on fueling up. Mm, that's about it. All right, thanks. Going back to Trevor. Yeah, something seems off about this. You're probably right that you need to work this out with your boss. Maybe some wires got crossed. Anyway, good luck and good day to you. All right, speak with Trevor. Okay, well, I'll catch back up with you when I get down to see Trevor. Okay, we're just about down here to see Trevor, so let's see what he's got to say. I hope I didn't make a mistake. I wonder what's taking Hank so long. Well, ship services said that Hank returned, but didn't land at the port. Mm, that's a little suspicious. Why would he do that? Moreover, why wouldn't he return with the goods? Something's definitely up. I asked around while you were gone. Some of his co-workers mentioned there's been a little extra, well, Hank lately. In particular, he was cursing up a storm about work, and about his co-workers. Said some things that make me think his intentions here were not pure. Anyway, he's not too bright. Maybe he's still here in Sidonia. Check the broken spear. He frequently goes there to drink. We need to get to the bottom of this. Oh boy. Uh, I'll try to find him in the missing equipment. Remember, it's most important that we find out where the equipment is. We can always deal with Hank later. We've got to do it before we lose track of it, before it gets sold, moved, or worse. And we've got to hope to whatever higher power you believe in that it wasn't jettisoned into space. We've got our work cut out for us. Good luck. All right, find Hank. Okay, where do we gotta go? Uh, I think we gotta go up to the Broken Spear first. Let's see if they have anything to say. I think that's just right up here. I think that's the watering hole that the uh, ladies from the office went to, which is just right up above up here, I believe. Uh, where is it? Uh, up here? Uh, I think so. Around the corner. The broken spear. Okay. Uh hey. Let's see what we got. Alright. Uh find Hank Ferraro. Okay. Go to Mars, they said. The Henry Hank great, Ferraro. So is this is only depression. my first contract, but I've already hauled more ore than any of the old timers could ever produce. That's why they're jealous of me. I got some questions for you, Hank, about that new equipment. Questions, huh? Let me buy you a beer first. Oh, sure, but we need to talk. Actually, no, first we need to talk. I don't need any distractions. Suit yourself. Uh, anyway, I seen you talking to Trevor. What's someone like you doing sticking your nose where it doesn't belong? Well, we suspect you may have something to do with the missing equipment. Oh, do you now? Well, you're not wrong. I do have something to do with it. In fact, I'm the one who took it. 
I had to. Those guys all think I'm some kind of joke. And I'm stuck with this stupid three-year contract. I can't afford to break it. So, screw Deimos. Screw Trevor and all the other miners. Losing that equipment's the last draw for them. Did he tell you that? One last failure in a string of failures to meet quotas. It'll be layoffs for everyone, and I won't owe Deimos a damn credit. That's a terrible plan, and now that you told me, they'll arrest you. Shit. You're right. Fine. You got me. What do you say I take you to the goods and we bring it back? You can even say you found it. Just don't turn me in, alright? Uh... Let's see. I promise I won't turn you in. I just want the equipment back. Uh... Okay, but if you try anything stupid, I'll go straight to security. You should know I'm well armed and capable of defending myself if you're... Oh, which one do we want to do? I don't want to promise I won't turn you in. Well, I'm not really promising here. Yeah, yeah, I'm not an idiot. Just, uh, follow me. We're going outside. Okay, sure. What's Just up? passing through or here to stay? Oh boy. Well, once we get to wherever we're going, I'll catch up back up with you all. Well, I think we are starting to get close here. Let's see what's going to happen. This just doesn't seem like it's going to be that easy. All right. Come on, Hank. What's going on? All right. That's enough. Now face me, so I don't have to shoot you in the back. Alright, we don't have to do this, Hank. We can talk through this. No. We got a problem we can't resolve. Namely, you know too much. Ah, come on, Hank. Killing me won't save you. Other people suspect you're up to something. Do they? Oh, maybe I need to rethink what I'm doing. You know... Uh, even if you, let's see, even if you kill me, your plan won't work the way you think it will. Wait, you're saying everyone won't get laid off? Hmm. You're young. Are you willing to risk death over this? No, I mean, you don't think they'd kill me over this, do you? Ah, damn it. You're right. What the hell am I doing? This is freaking stupid, even for me. This whole idea, I, I barely thought it through. I, I just acted because it seemed like my only shot. I really don't want to hurt anyone. I'm in too deep and I don't know what to do. I know I don't deserve it, but will you help me? Please? If, if you turned yourself in, I promise to tell him to go easy on you. I don't like it, but you might be onto something. If I come clean, maybe it'll go easy on me. Especially if you tell them what happened here. Fine, I'll do it. It's the right thing to do. And hey, at least they'll probably void my contract. Gotta look on the bright side, I guess. Okay. Alright, so... We've got to turn Hank into, uh... Security. So... Uh... Are you gonna follow me? I almost made this a million times worse. Thanks for not killing me. Ah, uh, well, let's see. <laughs> what, am I too much for you? All right, we got to go turn Hank in. All right, I will see you back over at security. Yeah, Hank's following. Okay, yep, I'll see you back over to security. Okay, we're almost to security. We got to get Hank into the door here. Come on, get into Careful here. Careful near the railings on the upper levels. It's a long way down. Come on, Hank. Keep your eyes peeled get for in here. Come on. Come on. We need to be extra Let's see if this is close enough. All right. All right. 
We run a tight ship here on Sidonia. Anyone who steps out of line, well, they learn never to do it again. Sergeant Booth at your service. If you have a security-related concern, yep. bring it up to me. Okay. Hank here is turning himself in for the theft of mining equipment. It's true. I stole the brand new mining equipment that my boss ordered for us. But now that I've had some sense talked into me, I realize how shitty that is. I know it was a dick move, and I'll serve whatever sentence you've got for me. You can confirm this? Yes, sir. He admitted to crime and gave back supplies. No harm done. Again, I'm real sorry, but I'll do the time and make things right. It's rare that we get a criminal turning himself in like this. And the fact that there's no real damage to speak of is going to help his case. I'm sure those will both be points in his favor. Good work. All right. Thanks. All right. Nice. Let's get you booked and locked up. You've already done enough to mess things up for yourself. Don't make it any Okay. Harm. I think yeah. we've got to go back and see Trevor now. Always nice to kick back at the Broken Spear after a long day. Okay. Let's go see Trevor. And uh, hopefully we can just about wrap this up. I didn't think this was going to take this long. And so we're not going to get to that second mission today. We'll finish that up on on another day so let's get down here and see trevor and hopefully this now wraps this whole red tape business up okay get over here all right trevor Any luck? i'm looking forward to hearing all about this yeah well i found out what happened with hank and the equipment yeah i heard Booth left me a message saying that Hank stole the goods, but then he had a change of heart and turned himself in. Crazy. I knew Hank was problematic, but I never suspected he'd do something like this. At least he had the good sense to come clean about it before any damage was done. I'll take it from here and get the equipment sorted out. Here's the credits I promised. I'm also throwing in some ore to repay you for what you got us before, and then some. We'll be able to recoup it in no time with these new tools. Thanks for all your help. We couldn't have done it without you. All right, nice. Ah, credits, Demos cap added, space helmet, uh, iron added, uh, mission updated, war relics. All right. Oh, we're still getting stuff added. You really helped us, you know? Thanks again. Okay. Well, let's see. We got a whole bunch of other stuff. Let's take a quick peek at that and see what... Uh, what we got here that was the taste of home we still have to do that uh i still have to speak to ravika and uh uh i think he is over at uh neon and so yeah all right well i think we're gonna wrap this up right here uh there's old trevor and uh, yeah, so if you like this uh, uh, video, please hit that thumbs up. It really helps the video out a lot. And please subscribe, that really helps the channel. And ring that bell. I'm uh, putting content up every week and it'll uh, let you know when I add new content. Uh, all right, all you uh, uh, space uh, star, f ah, boy, it's been a long day, can't you tell? All right, all you star fighters out there, Keep your heads low and don't get shot. And with that, Commander Kingfish is out of here. And I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.